the ailerons are incredibly important, as they allow us to bank the aircraft left and right, and therefore turn. They control roll, along the longitudinal axis. Let's examine how they do that. Let's take a look at the cross-section of the airfoil, and see that the aileron is on the trailing edge. With a neutral input at the yoke, there is even angle of attack on both ailerons. In order to turn the airplane, we need to introduce a movement at the yoke to create a movement in the ailerons. Ailerons move in the opposite direction to each other, as you can see in this diagram. This causes one wing to produce more, and one wing to produce less lift. You can see the left side aileron moving downwards, creating more camber. The right side aileron is moving upwards. This reduces the camber. An increase in camber will produce more lift and a decrease in camber will produce less lift. And so now, we have one wing creating more lift and the other wing creating less lift. The result from this, will be the left wing lifting, and the right wing dropping down. If we want to bank the airplane to the right and roll into a turn, we can use the yoke to increase the lift on the left wing, and decrease the lift on the right wing. And we do that the same as a car, and turn the yoke to the right. This then rolls us to the right to create an angle of bank and turn us to the right. There is a trade-off happening when we do this. The secondary effect of aileron is called, adverse yaw. Whenever we create more lift, we will always create more drag. This is an unshakable law. So the aileron which moves downward, creates more camber, which creates more lift, which in turn creates more drag. This results in a yaw away from the direction of the intended turn. On the diagram on left, you can see the green indicating the increased lift and the desired direction of turn to the right. On the diagram on right, you can see the red arrow indicating the extra drag created. The orange arrow shows the yaw of the nose, to the left. This is far from ideal when you are wanting to turn to the right. Another secondary effect of aileron, is slip, and yaw. When we want to bank to the right, we have our lift vector, point into the turn. And so that increased lift pulls us into the turn. As the lift is not holding us directly upwards, and it's pulling us across as well now. We slip into the turn. There is now a new sideways component of relative airflow due to slipstream. This has the effect of pushing into the side of the airplane. This side slip force has the most effect on the tail, resulting in a yaw. This effect is self-perpetuating. In other words, the more you have, the more you get. So the more you bank into the turn, the more you get yawed into the direction of turn. This can result in a spiral dive. This effect is responsible for many accidents, and needs to be treated with respect.